everyone, welcome back to the Ossian Physio YouTube channel. Today our video will be focusing on frozen shoulder and more specifically the thawing phase. So the final phase where we want to regain movement, improve flexibility and reduce pain long term. So we want to start off by improving movement through stretching. So for the first 30 seconds, we're going to start to passively, so you're going to let this arm relax, lift up and hold a stretch as high as you feel like you can go. So you might find, depending on what phase you're at, this might be enough where you're stretching and feeling it pull down into the arm. Or if you can push it higher, you can lift it up. If it's more comfortable, you can bend at the arm and lift up this way. So we want to aim to hold this for 30 seconds. So we're just trying to improve range of motion through that GH joint, as well as adding in stretching. And although we're targeting the triceps here, we're kind of stretching all down into the lats and into the back of the arm. So we're holding that for 30 seconds. So keep holding. The next one we're going to pull across the body. So again, whatever feels comfortable for you, we want to pull around the shoulder. So everybody's different at this phase, but we want to do this to stretch around the deltoid, around the back, into the rhomboids. So stretching around that whole shoulder complex. So again, for you, here might be enough, but we want to obviously aim to pull it across the body. So we're holding for 30 seconds. So keep holding there and we want to feel that stretch into the body. The next stretch for the next 30 seconds is using a wall. We're going to stretch away. So you might feel this into the bicep, into the chest muscles, but you're going to lean against. I'm using a fridge or a wall, keeping the arm straight. Again, determine the height, depending on what's comfort, comfort, comforting for you. And then we're going to turn away. So we're going to turn the head away, turn the torso away. And we're going to hold that for 30 seconds and this is so key because if you've had that restriction and limitation lots of different muscles get incredibly tight when holding and then relaxing there for the next 30 seconds we're going to do isometric strengthening so we're going to start off with abduction which is bringing the arm out to the side so what you can do is i'm using a fridge but you can use a wall you're going to push into the wall as if you're lifting up to the sides so as if you're doing this you're going to push so you should feel it here. You're gonna hold for three to five seconds and then relax. And so it's 30 seconds in total. So you're gonna repeat this for 30 seconds. So you're pushing, 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 and then let go. And then once you've done that, we wanna then add in external rotation. So we're doing this. So you're pushing with the hand this time. So same position with the arm, but you're pushing the hand into there. So you're trying to externally rotate, holding for a couple of seconds, and then relaxing. So again, you're pushing, so using, fixing at the elbow, you're pushing this way, so you're turning in that external rotation, holding for a couple of seconds, and then relaxing. For the next 30 seconds, we wanna to start to regain that movement, and again, doing it with what is comfortable within your range. So what I really like is like walking up a wall. So I'm using a fridge, but you can use a wall. You're gonna go up as high as you feel like you can go. Obviously, if this is really easy, take a step in, obviously bring the hands higher. But for 30 seconds, you're just gonna repeat walking the hands up and then relaxing. So you're literally just going up through. Again, if it's too easy, bring your body in, stretch right the way up, but you're trying to do it where you're regaining that range of motion. For the next 30 seconds, we want to regain control over the scapula, so over the shoulder blade, as this is absolutely key when regaining movement post frozen shoulder. So you're going to have the hands into the side. Imagine a piece of paper between your shoulder blades, and without lifting up, you're going to bring the shoulders back, hold for a couple of seconds, and then relax. So you're trying to regain that lovely control. So you're going to pinch it without lifting up through the traps, bringing it straight back, Hold for a couple of seconds and then relax. And just repeating that. So pinching, holding for a couple of seconds and then relaxing and then moving on when you can to the more advanced option where you've got your hands out straight in line with the shoulder. What you're gonna do is keeping your arms fixed. You're gonna drop the body in. So you're dropping the torso forward and pinching the shoulders together and then relaxing back for 30 seconds. It's very tempting to do this. We want to keep the arms straight, drop the body forward, control over those shoulder blades, hold for a couple of seconds, and then relaxing. So only do this one if you feel like you can bring your arms up high enough, and then relaxing there. 